What's up, YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, Jalen Waddle, who the Miami Dolphins just drafted with the sixth overall pick. I am recording this literally right after my live stream. Uh, the first round had just ended. Um, so I can kind of give you my raw thoughts on him. Uh, I, I gave my opinion in the live stream, but I'm not expecting everybody to go watch a four-hour stream. So if, if you didn't catch it live, sorry, my voice is kind of hoarse from talking for four hours straight. But... Um. Yeah, he's a really, really good player. Uh, fast as shit. Absolutely dynamic uh, athleticism. Um, his overall speed just to just tear you apart downfield is crazy. Uh, he can make you miss on a dime. Uh, he's a fantastic yak guy. Uh, and that quickness does turn into some pretty good route running. He's not the route runner that Devontae Smith was, which is why I wanted Devontae specifically for the Dolphins because we had yak guys. But I am definitely happy with Jalen Waddell. I spoke about this in multiple mock drafts and a couple of live streams. Um, I wanted one of five players to for us to take, and I'd be happy. And that was Sewell, Slater, Pitts, or one of the two Bama guys. Got one of the two Bama guys, so I'm happy. Um, fantastic player. He did, he was hurt last year, so that is a bit of a concern. He does have a bit of a size problem. Not it's not really a problem, but he is smaller. Um, but we do have a true number one receiver and I, his route running is good now. And I think it will definitely improve once it gets to the league because he does have the agility. He does sink his hips down. He just needs to get a little bit more experience running certain routes. Um, so, and of course he is from Alabama. So Tua is used to throwing to him. In fact, Mac Jones really didn't get to really even play with Jalen Waddle. He really only had him for about three games this year before he got hurt. So, um, Tua's chemistry will already kind of be there with him. So, I think he is, he will add a very big thing to our team. Uh, you kind of look at, like, Kansas City with Tyreek Hill. Um, in that just overwhelming speed, what that does. Like, if you go back to my, um, my film session when we were preparing for the Kansas City Chiefs, I had no answer for Tyreek Hill or Travis Kelsey, to be fair, which is why I also wanted Pitts. Um, because there just isn't that many defensive backs who can handle that type of speed. Um, and to pair that with some solid route running, it's not elite, but it's solid. Uh, it's crazy. His hands are consistent, and actually, despite his size, he will jump ball better than you would expect. Uh, that's something that him and Devontae Smith both share. And he's actually an okay blocker, too. Uh, he can give you some value on kick and punt return, although I really don't want him doing that, except in, like, clutch situations, you know, like win the game situations, because I don't want to risk him getting hurt on a stupid-ass punt return. I want him playing receiver and receiver only. Let, like, Lynn Bowden do kick return or something. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.